We're here in the home's private studio of Ward Hake of uh, Fox Television. Doesn't get any bigger than that. Um, Ward, tell me about uh, how you're digging the Antelope uh, Zodiac and the Trinity Clock. Love it. It's made a huge difference uh, for me just to hear everything clear and just like you said it would. And which is always nice when somebody brags about something to uh, actually notice that it does make a huge difference. And you know, Devin, who you know, told me about it. He said it would make a big difference too. And, and you guys were both right. So it's pretty exciting to have something this level at home to you know hear mixes that I deal with at work and to also do my own thing that I do too. So it's been great. And we went down to the scoring stage over at Fox, and they're using the clocks there as well. So there's a real uh, there's a real connection with uh, with Fox and Antelope right now. Yeah, when you see you know the Newman scoring stage, the biggest recording studio in North America, and to see that you know see the Trinity in there and the 10M, and you know we did Avatar over there as well, and to look at my Trinity and go, wow, got the same thing as over there. That's it's kind of neat. So yeah, it's great. It's definitely we've definitely seen that in the in the composer's film and TV composer world a big increase in in business over the last year. So I think uh, the word is out and it's resonating. And what do you think it's doing for these guys and doing at the film scoring stage? What do you think the the sound? I mean, this has been a topic that's been discussed often. Yeah. But what do you think uh, truly is resonating for these guys? Well, I, I think the difference for us is uh, just economically the composers now are able to do stuff in the box with great samples and uh, you know they need to be able to do it quickly and they need to hear exactly what they're working on and it used to be where it'd just be simple stuff in the box but now we're get, we have guys that you know pretty much can rival some of the guys who do it you know on some of the smaller scoring stages at least uh, they can do it in the box and you know I can see why a lot of our composers are now starting to use you know stuff like this um, because it's pinnacle for you know their work with us. So Zodiac allowing them to monitor more accurately uh, their mix that's in the box helps them to compete. Yeah, with well, bigger you know, bigger productions yeah. or bigger budgets. Yeah, you know, and I know a lot of guys. We won't name the other products, but you know that were a couple hundred bucks that we all bought and used, and you know now they have producers and directors coming to their studios to hear you know cues and different things they're working on. And, you know, the, the people who work in, in TV, or films for that matter, I mean, they're pretty savvy to this stuff, too. And they've heard great audio, and they've been in those studios at spotting sessions. They know what it's supposed to sound like. And to come into a composer's studio where he's, you know, demoing stuff, trying to get a gig, to have something like this play, it, it makes a difference for them on all kinds of levels. I've been fortunate enough to, been to, to be in some of the rooms in L.A. with top writers and... and uh composers for TV and film, and I, I've definitely noticed a trend uh, towards lots of hardware now. Um, outboard gear, summing boxes, mixing boxes, compressors, EQs. Yeah. What, 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 what can you say uh, to shed some light about how that's... I mean, it, 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 people are working in the box, yet they're buying more and more gear as well. Yeah, I, I think working in the box is great, and I think the, the plugins are, are really good too, but it, you can just really hear the difference immediately to me in, in the hardware, and I, and I know it's my composers too, and everybody would love it to be able to say in the box because it's cheaper and it's a lot faster and less hooking up uh, to do with your studio, but all of them that I know of use you know hardware gear, and a lot of times what I've been doing is if the plugins sound pretty good, I normally will buy the hardware because of it. Gotcha. Uh, and, um, you know, I don't have a lot of time to work here in my own studio, uh, you know, with working at Fox all day. Uh, so when I get here, I like to, you know, have stuff that I know that works. And sometimes I've even used some of the presets and a quick fix that were on some EQ or something for some, you know, instrument. And use it the same on the, you know, on my little graphic EQ for, you know, the API graphic EQ for something. Just because it's quick. And uh, I know a lot of the other guys. I got another buddy of mine who's actually uh, who I was going to introduce to John Paisano. He's uh, got a whole studio with a animated uh, cartoon house where they're doing a bunch of uh, animated movies. And he's also gone to hardware. And he was my in the box composer guy. And even he's like starting to break into one compressor, turned into four. And yep, you know, just makes a difference. There's no way to cheat it. 
So going in and out of the box, um, is that part of the reason you invested uh, the money and and uh, that you did into the antelope stuff? Yeah, it is. You know, I felt like again, it's still a hybrid. I you know, it's it's still a hybrid. You gotta have the stuff in the box. I thought the Trinity really helped tight, especially when you again, I use a lot of I've got a lot of samples and soft synths and things like that and it, it tightens it up especially big drum programs a superior drum or some things like that running with three or four soft synths uh, it makes a difference and then you know to have it also then hook up with the zodiac at the same time now you're starting to run in tandem and that, that's really made a huge difference for me i mean this is the nicest setup i've ever had and you know i'm excited about it it's something i'm gonna be having for you know awesome time. Well, we're excited to have you as an endorser and, a, and an end user for Antelope. Oh, no, I'm glad to be here, man. Thanks, Ward. All right, buddy.